take a fast sip. Oh my gosh. It's so hot in New York today. It's really humid. I look like, uh, like a puppy, actually. My hair, like puppy hair. I don't even know if I'm live right now. Am I live? <laughs> oh, I am live. Is anybody out there? I'm going to be doing uh, maybe a longer video than usual in a live state or possibly a short one if I chicken out. We'll see. But um, I definitely need to announce three different giveaways that have uh, two of them are pop up in store walkthrough giveaways. Um, hello, Mohammed. I'm going to keep squinting at you guys. I actually recently bought um, a magnifying glass <laughs> at the Dollar Tree so that I could see things better because I'm that blind. But that's irrelevant right now. I just happen to be surrounded by Dollar Tree stuff. Oh, hi, Natalie. How are you? Um, okay, so I'm going to be doing three different giveaways. The magnet giveaway, let me just refresh you guys on what that is. It is the LaDonna. Hello, how are you? Am I reading that right? Yes. Uh, the magnets that I collected that are just, I just think, amazing. So I'm doing a little giveaway with those. Um, the makeup that was in the purple backpack where you guys had to say lucky. Uh, yeah, this one is lucky, not jackpot. That's a whole other pop-up giveaway. I've been really lucky lately. I've been finding a lot of like tons of makeup all at once. Hello, got, oh, it went away. I'm sorry, I wasn't fast enough. But hi to everyone. Uh, Kentucky, LaDonna, I got you. Hi, Tona, Jones, and I think it was Laura. Couldn't read everyone. But, um, and then I'm also gonna be announcing the Purple Passion giveaway, which is the one that is dedicated to Pamela. It has 44 items in it. That was a pop-up. Eh, not so pop up. It was like in my whole giveaway. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't read those comments fast enough. They fly by. I'm doing it on my phone. Oh, upstate New York. Hello, Luann. Janet and Danielle or Danielle. Uh, I can never remember which one is which. Mandy. I did see that. Didn't read the comment, but I will go back and read them later. Speaking of comments, um, in order to, for me to get all of these entries done, I skim through everything and wrote everyone's name down but i didn't respond back to the comments i'll do that later i'm actually on my way to get out of the house and drive to my aunt's house in connecticut today so i'll have a lot of time because um you know i'm going basically away so i'll have plenty of time to respond to everyone i have um which one should we do first should we do the magnets first and then um i do have some things in front of me in case i get up the courage to try to do like a mini mini dollar tree haul because i am terrified that my dogs are going to start freaking out as soon as somebody walks down the street and jump over the table not you guys have no idea what goes on in this house it is crazy i'm picking up my things all day long my dogs are nuts my new dog is able to jump over this table he is a jack russell terrier mix but when i got him they did not tell me that they lied and yeah he's more like a goat or a cat than a dog so yeah so I'm going to be calling out the magnet giveaway. Oh, you know what? Speaking of giveaways, see, this is why I don't do lives, because I digress so much. Oh, New Orleans. Hey, Janet. Purple Passion Basket, Florida. Oh, exciting. I I don't know if I'm moving to Florida anymore. I'm kind of torn now. I'm sort of thinking Savannah. I might go for two weeks to Savannah to check it out uh, in a couple of weeks, actually. Um, I also have... And I want to make sure, hey, hey Azart, how are you? Um, I wanted to make sure to let you guys know about this calendar giveaway for the five farmhouse calendars that come out every year. Um, if you haven't gotten to see this video or heard of this giveaway, please do go check my list of videos and enter in this giveaway. Also, if you share this video to Facebook, you get an extra entry so I want to give a fair shot to lots of crafters. I don't really, I guess maybe a lot of, I don't know, but I don't do a lot of crafts. So I'm assuming not a lot of people that do crafts watch my channel, but I kind of know that these calendars mean the world to crafters. So I'm hoping to kind of put it out there because I heard like a Dollar Tree truck went missing with calendars in it. Um, hello from Campaign, Illinois. Oh, awesome. Hi, Donna. How are you? 
So if you guys share this to your Facebook or I don't know, Instagram, whatever other people do. I can't check Instagram. I'll take your word for it. You'll get two entries. Uh, I don't do Instagram. It's just too many technology things for me. Oh, thank you, Casey. I kind of love how I find all the hard candy makeup too. That's why I'm having such a hard time figuring out where I'm going to move to because I'm going to be devastated if I go somewhere and I can't ever find makeup because I run a charity. For those of you that don't know, I run a charity called Garage Sales Against Violence. Garage Sales Against Violence. And without finding makeup, you know, I would be at a loss because makeup is expensive and most women enjoy getting makeup during the holidays. It's one of the things that I do. I also make like outreach makeup bags full of makeup, days of beauty. I just use a lot of beauty products for that. And it would be terrible if I had to pay more than a dollar. I could barely afford the dollar. Trust me. I would share your, oh my God, Janet, that's so nice. I had no idea. There are some people out there who share my videos because I've read it. There's like some place in YouTube studio that if I get lost, I stumble over and it says like so many people shared my video and I'm like, where? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. My videos are long. I wonder if people even watch them like out of nowhere, but it seems like it happened. So that's a miracle. Thank you so much. So yeah, make sure to check for this. Portland, Maine. Love your webs. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you to all of you. Hey, Roberta, how are you? All I see lots of sunshine and happiness going on over there in the emojis. Oh, and Holly, how are you doing today? Thank you for being here. Anna, hello. Oh, I read that already. Oh, my gosh. Very cool. If I start wearing glasses, I'll probably be much better at this. All right, Marina, get to it. Focus, focus. You know what? Before I even do that, I want to share with you guys my friend Gretchen, who does have a channel, but she's sort of taking a hiatus. Oh, hey, Charlotte, how are you? I've been talking so much. Did you guys, you guys saw it already, right? You know, you're like, okay, Marina, we're sick of hearing about it. Oh, thank you so much. I, I haven't actually put my full makeup on yet. I just sort of said, let me, I don't even think I blended in my makeup. I was kind of doing it before you guys got on because I am I was like, let me just do this live, get this done, take it with me while I'm at my aunt's. I'll ship it out from Connecticut. And then when I come home, I'll be ready to do the huge giveaway that we're doing, I think we're releasing it tonight, the epic, epic, epic um, hard candy giveaway. I think Pamela is going to upload her video first, so make sure to keep your eyes open at Pamela's channel for a chance to win this epic hard candy giveaway. There's two different giveaways. Each of us have almost all the same things, but it's over 100 items. It's like 120-something items. The, the retail value is over $1,000, you guys. It is some good stuff. And I almost cursed right there because I can't believe how good it is. So um, my friend Gretchen, who does have a YouTube channel called Gretchen's One DIY at a Time. She's sort of on hiatus, but she's one of my best friends. And I keep talking about how I'm obsessed with this green palette that she sent it to me. She bought it on the Poshmark Mercari black market somewhere and sent it to me and was like you want that thing so bad I want you to have it and I was like it was shipped to me at my house so it's like friend mail from my friend it's kind of hilarious but this is the closest I've gotten to this gorgeous palette if you guys keep your fingers crossed that I find it maybe I'll be able to put it in some giveaways in the upcoming future because I am obsessed with this it's called THC and CBD free smoke out 17 of uh, 45. It's just the coolest palette I have ever, ever seen by hard candy. I really need to have this in my life. Thank you, Gretchen. I would love, oh my gosh, velvet mousse hard candy. I see at Walmart, but can't bring myself to buy it there. I, I understand. No, you know, what's crazy. I didn't read that whole comment though. I'm going to go back and finish it, but if I had seen this actually at Walmart, I would have bought it. That's what's driving me crazy. Because sometimes some of the palettes, when they're at the Dollar Tree and they're a dollar, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm all over that. I need that to give away to my charity or whatever. But if I had seen this in the store, I would have been like, I need that for me. That's for me. I want that. I never saw it in the Walmarts until I saw it on YouTube, which is crazy, right? That's crazy. Sometimes how we shop at Dollar Tree before we even shop retail. I mean, I guess for me, I do shop Dollar Tree before I shop retail. Oh, I just bought this necklace, which I'm wearing because I like it so much too, for two bucks at a thrift store. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna rock my 80s pearl look 
Well, I was going to do pearl earrings, but then I'm like, where are you going? Seriously. So just put on some hoops and call it a day. But thank you. It is. I, I didn't even realize you guys could actually see it. My aunt is going to love this necklace. I'm kind of wearing it for her. Oh, yeah. I wish every Dollar Tree was created equal, you guys. I really do. Okay, so before I digress for the rest of the day and end up doing a three-hour live, um, for the magnets, not a ton of people signed up for that. I mean, a lot, but not a ton. And I screwed up, and I first told you guys to say awake because I was, like, liking the play on words with the... Did you guys see these magnets? I'll do them really quickly. Peace, love, equality. What we think we become due to unfortunate circumstances. I am awake. I kind of like that, but I take it a different way than probably it was meant to be, which I kind of like. Uh, stop making excuses because sometimes unfortunate circumstances make us become very awakened to the whole picture of what the universe really wants for us. That's like what I think the magnet means, but maybe they just mean like, oh, my alarm went off and I'm awake. It could have been that simple, but I read into things a lot. And this one says inspire and empower love it and this one says be nice or go away uh-huh yeah absolutely and this is my favorite know your power i almost cry when i look at that i love this magnet so this whole magnet collection is gonna go to a lucky winner oh what i was saying is first i told you guys to write awake and then i changed it at the end and said magnet so anybody that wrote anything about that got a chance to win because i screwed up i'm I, I don't know. I forget things so easily, you guys. So the winner of this is, are you guys ready for my giant cup? This is a huge cup, just in case you guys want to know. The winner is, oh, Anhali, you won. Anhali, you were just here. Do you, most definitely, you think they mean the same thing too? Uh, Sheila, no name brand makeup here in Midwest. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, you're here. Yay, you won. So... You have to email me at the number one survivor always at gmail.com. And if you didn't get that, I'll write it at some point when they let me upload this video. I'll put it in the description box. Normally, I have it written on a piece of paper, but of course, now I don't. Um, it's the number one survivor always at gmail.com. And, uh, oh, Hi, Rebecca. Uh, A's are Roberta's. Okay, same same names. Okay, so let's move forward because I keep forgetting that this is live. Yes, and congratulations on Holly. I'm excited for you. These are awesome magnets. I really love them. Hello, Laurie. How are you? Laurie Thomas Keen is at um, Carm's Corner. Congrats. Uh, Janet. Fava oh, hey, Janet. I think I said hey to you already. I don't know. I don't know. I forget. I'm very nervous when I do a live. This gives me severe anxiety, but I like to overcome my fears big time. That's what I do. I'm like, oh, I'm nervous about that. I have to keep doing it till I'm over it because there's too much crazy stuff in life to get n nervous over something like this. What's the worst thing that can happen? The dog does knock this over. You guys might see my dishes in my sink by accident, whatever. Um, oh, oh, yes. Hi. Yes. Hi, Carl. Kama's Corner, C-A-M-A-S, I think it says. Okay, next, next was, please tell me that I did bring it with me to here. Mm -hmm. Where did I put the names for the giveaway? Oh, they're right in front. You see what I mean? Like, I can't do lives. This is why I have to heavily edit my videos. So this, I didn't tell you guys what this, okay, so this giveaway was for the one that was hashtag lucky, and in it was this bag that I just happened to find in the store. By the way, I've just stuffed another bag in here to make it look a little full, and everything is in here. The video, a big thumbs up. Oh, thank you so much, Shayla. Um, enjoy watching your channel. So, do, 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 do. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. I, I have to focus. You guys know that I'm going to, like, lose it, right? I'm going to so lose it. All right. So, in here, in here is a bunch of makeup that was all in one store. I'm just going to go through it really quick. Is this, this gorgeous thing right here, which happens to be like flower beauty and i haven't seen that in ages but there it was brand new on the shelf this dual ended lipstick which is killer killer gorgeous absolutely love that um this happens to be cashmere love catsuit which is one of my faves really good for the inner corner 
Yeah, it really, really great finds. I can't believe it. This one looks a little mangled, but it's because I stuffed it in the bag. And it's an oil-free loose powder by Hard Candy. This one is really good. There were like three different ones available. I find this one is kind of great, especially when you start to get hot and sweaty, kind of like I am because I'm nervous. And then we have the Glitterazzi Press and Play. Um, this one is by the name Glamour. I really like this one. It's like a purple, then it turns sparkly. And this is like one of my new faves ever in life. And it's, uh, I'll actually tell you guys the name because it's called Naughty Neptune. And I think it's out of this world. And if you love the hard candy makeup, make sure to be subscribed to mine and Pamela's channel. Because when you guys see the video that's coming out tonight, you guys are going to lose it. It's unbelievable. It's just my whole entire table was covered in hard candy every square inch in order to show you guys the video. Then I did include this one, which was, I couldn't believe I found this in the store as well. This was out so long ago and they had it in the store and it's called Dazzle, but this is like a really neutral, beautiful lip. So you guys get a variety of colors, which was kind of amazing. Um, and whoops. Okay. I didn't drop it though. We're all good. Everything's good. And then there's like a bunch of liquid catsuit eyeshadows that I've included and this really gorgeous, uh, ch -ch -ch, hmm, what is your name? Called Venom, Venom Matte Lipstick by um, Hard Candy. So that's everything. Plus you get this purple backpack. You can keep it for yourself, take it to the beach, give it to the kiddos, whatever you want. But I just found that and I was like, let me put it all in here so I don't misplace it because I misplace a lot of stuff. And I did the and I announced this giveaway right when I was in the store because I just couldn't believe how much. Honestly, you don't find this many items, brand name, all in one store. It like never happens. That's a lot for one, just one store. So then we're gonna do. I put them in one of these. Do you guys ever get these from the Dollar Tree anymore? I feel like they don't carry the little size anymore. They have a lid. These are like the best best airtight containers. Not that anybody cares about that right now, but I feel like I have to uh, speak about great things from the Dollar Tree at all time. But I do love these because they're airtight and I put them like this way in my pantry and I put the label here and they work really good for me. So without driving you guys crazy, the winner of this giveaway is Jilly Burgess. Oh, but I think it's Jilly B. Burgess. My husband helped me do these. And... She, you have a YouTube channel, Jilly. I, she has a YouTube channel, actually, but it's a very young YouTube channel, and I've been watching her. I wonder if you, she's here. Are you in here, Jilly? Well, if you guys have not ever heard of her, I think she might have maybe... You know what? She's going to have a lot more subscribers after today because you know what? I really like her. I love finding new YouTube channels, watching their videos, and helping them along their way. That brings me great joy. And uh, I do, I have shared her video, I think I shared her video once, um, but I've been kind of busy. But her channel's name is Jilly B. Burgess, B-U-R-G-E-S-S, -S -S, but my husband forgot to put the B in there. So if you guys haven't seen her yet, please go check her out and tell her she won. She has a YouTube channel, a young one, but she's gonna get monetized. She's really very sweet. She does really good hauls. I'm really excited for her. I can't wait to tell her she won. Carmen's Corner. Karma's Corner. You have a YouTube channel too, Karma's Corner? I can let people know that right now. I think you just did yourself. Karma's Corner. I'll check. Am I subscribed to you? I'd... Oh, you have a new channel also. Do you do Dollar Tree hauls? What do you do? Tell us about it. And then, um, okay, so I'm going to move to Karma's Corner. You made me lose my track of thought, <laughs> my train of thought. Uh, bless your heart. Thank you. But what do you do? You didn't say. Tell everybody. They can read these, I think. I think you got, yeah, in the live chat, they can read it. Tell us all about yourself while I find out what I'm doing right now because I'm lost as usual. Um, I hope that I did. You guys, I'm going to have to like probably get up and go off camera because I left it. No, I'm going to try to shimmy myself because in the real world of YouTube, I'm still wearing my legging bottom pajamas and I'm planning on putting a skirt on 
but I didn't feel like I don't want to I don't want you guys to see me in my legging bottom pajamas so I will not stand up I would rather throw myself across this house than do that right now so that's it I got it I got the container I'm mortified right now but we're good I'm holding it together now I put all the people who signed up for purple passion in here which I stole from linen things this idea and I think it's the cutest thing ever although I have multiples of these at this point because I think they're so cool I wish I could have gotten 200 of them and use them for like kids giveaways in the future but I couldn't get that many I'm so funny I'm just I'm a hot mess Sheila that's what it is you have to laugh when you're a klutz you, you just or you're gonna cry I'm very klutzy very forgetful did you guys see that the other day I don't know if any of you are local but I was headed to the Dollar Tree in College Point it was already that's already like 45 minutes from where I live but I used to live in Queens and every by the way I cannot tell you guys how many times I've gone over that bridge when I lived in Col in Queens I used to live in Flushing because as you're driving and every as every single time that I have ever and I went there every day so at least twice a month I would end up in the Bronx and then have to drive Sheila you know where you are you probably know where that is because you're a truck driver you know that bridge so when you're driving in College Point there's like two roads and I always tell myself stay to the left stay to the left stay to the left you're gonna end up on the bridge and every single time I just get lost in my train of thought or thinking oh, I'm going to the Dollar Tree I'm so excited and then the next thing you know I'm on the bridge and I'm like oh what a beautiful view my aunt actually lives over that bridge so sometimes I'm like I guess I'm supposed to go visit my aunt but on that day I was like you know what I'm gonna go to the Dollar Trees in the Bronx I haven't been to I went recently like six months ago but I haven't been to all of them and actually although I had a really good time I had did not realize I never had my car inspected recently and I got a ticket which sucked so then I was like I'm going back to Queens but it was crazy because I I am a dingling sometimes like that oh hello Prudence from Michigan good to see you here Christine Weber sure thing don't know what I said did I ask something I don't even know anymore I've lost it I just talked about getting lost for 20 minutes I, I, I'm not good for lies some people do these and they're like I'm just effortlessly composed I am not and that's the bottom line um they have different products and different it's so true actually I just found out okay now I'm gonna digress again because I actually have a mini Dollar Tree haul do you guys know that they sell these at the Dollar Tree now have you guys seen these new it is hard to get around in New York thank you Sheila but I should know though I've done it so many times I know that I'm gonna do it and I do it anyway but sometimes I'm like maybe I'm supposed to go there the Dollar Tree sells pita flats for a dollar and they're amazing I absolutely love them they're delicious every Dollar Tree is is its own shop yes yes Prudence I agree there's no such thing as a bad Dollar Tree like how people say like there's no such thing as bad pizza exact same sentiment with Dollar Trees even the worst Dollar Tree is gonna have cleaning products sponges sponges are like five dollars at the supermarket what if I could go to the Dollar Tree and buy them for a dollar then I can go buy myself some hard candy makeup at Walmart simple as that that's my theory on it for everything I don't waste my money on at Dollar Tree that gives me money to spend elsewhere in my own Dollar Tree math philosophy have you tried this Prudence because this I've never seen in the Dollar Tree before it's the Ellie's but these are expensive as heck in real stores I hate buying and these are like they're like gyro flats not like um they're amazing I couldn't believe that this is a dollar they're so good a new item at the Dollar Tree that I am like I guess because I'm Greek that's like a piece of my thing like I love eating shish kebab and barbecued food with like tzatziki sauce and these kind of pitas if you grill them a little yum my fave yeah food shopping is not good shopping I hate going to the supermarket in case you guys want to know if I I wish that Dollar Tree had like there is a store in New York called Jack's 99 cent city and they actually have believe I mean it's not organic but they actually have real cheese and they have like a little produce area and they even sell like chicken and cold cuts that are like kind of good um I don't want to say that the Dollar Tree cold cuts are not good but 
I, I don't eat those. They're not my faves. And um, if, if, if the Dollar Tree would just have like produce, like some lettuce, I would never go anywhere again. No, I, I would eat, I would stop buying organic lettuce, just buy the Dollar Tree lettuce, just a head of lettuce for a dollar. I would be in heaven. I would buy a head of lettuce every day. Yeah, I can't believe that they have them. Are you for or against wearing masks? I'm for or against whatever everybody else wants to do. I'm vaccinated, so I don't care. I still wear masks um, depending on where I am because I feel like it's polite to other people. If I'm in a very crowded space, I'll still wear a mask, although it's crazy hot, but I am vaccinated and I live in New York. Some states, that's their prerogative, but New York got hit really hard and I don't know what the future holds. My whole family is vaccinated though. Um, okay, so to the giveaway, this is the Purple Passion giveaway. There are 44 items in this basket and I didn't do it on purpose, but 44 is my lucky, lucky number. And it was crazy because when I counted them up later, I was shocked that there were 44. And so there are lots of really cool items in there. If you guys caught that video and you entered that giveaway, these are some highlights. Purple Passion Joy right here. They were kind of like a bunch of things that just sort of reminded me of Pamela's faves. <coughs> There's this in here. There's so many cool. Oh, this happens to be my favorite, favorite thing I probably have ever gotten in the Primer family at the Dollar Tree. And I didn't even get a lot of these. Literally, this is the only one that I'm not using or have given away. And I gave it away in the, in the giveaway. So I hope you guys like it and appreciate it, whoever wins. I'm sorry I couldn't read that. So I didn't catch it fast enough. So we're going to do, oh no, that one I already did. This is the Purple Passion giveaway. I know it, it just sort of happened. I just started thinking. And then before I knew it, like half my haul was in the basket. And then I was like, well, that's less stuff I have to put away. I'm just going to ship it out. You're vaccinated as well and you still wear a mask. You know, there are new strains and um, it's just getting really hot in New York to wear the masks because a lot of stores, there's like some kind of air conditioning mandate that was passed about like HEPA filters. And I guess maybe a lot of places can't afford to meet that filter system. So they're not running ACs. It's so hot, I could die. Um, well, I'm actually kind of happy that you said that masks are a must. I think that it, I, I, I have to be honest. I, you know what? I'm trying to be politically correct. Bottom line, I live in New York. I run a nonprofit. You guys don't have to figure out how I feel. <laughs> like I am a New Yorker that runs a nonprofit. I am a mask person. I have hauled lots of masks. I bought hand sanitizer and Lysol before the, before schools even closed. I was already giving the shelters hand sanitizer because I work in a very heavily populated sex worker shelter in Flushing, Queens, which is all Chinese immigrants. And my, I'm about, about to cry because they're like brought to this country and forced to become like sex slaves. Not that I want to burden anybody with the, sh the stuff that I deal with, but they were wearing masks before they knew something was going on and it was kind of coming out in the news, but people were ignoring it. But when I left that shelter that day, my phone showed me one of those videos that came out with the hospitals in China. And I immediately went to Walmart and bought tons of sanitizing stuff and went to Dollar Tree and bought tons of sanitizing stuff. And I started bringing it to the shelters and the people in the shelters were like, what are you bringing this to us for? And I'm like, haven't you seen what's going on? Something bad is about to happen in the country. And in a way, I'm happy that I did that. If I had never gone to that shelter, because, you know, Big Brother's always watching on the phone. Somehow the phone knew where I was and sent me that video because they, it wasn't even in English. It was in Chinese. I don't know. It's like really crazy. I don't even know how I ended up telling you guys this story. I didn't even read all of those comments. I'm going to look back at this and be like, Marina, you are never allowed to do a live again. Big time filter on. I need a filter all the time. I know that. So let's do the giveaway before I like completely put my channel out of business, you guys, because God only knows what could come out of my mouth. You, wow, you are amazing doing, oh, that, thank you. I thought everyone would be like, what, what's wrong with you? Um, oh, your four masks. See, that's beautiful. I'm happy to hear that. There was so much 
craziness about how people are against them that I just think it's kind of nuts and taboo, but I obviously am about them. Somebody actually once commented that they were annoyed that I was wearing my mask in my video. And I was like, oh, I'm going to be really annoyed if I'm dead. So thanks anyway. Uh, hello um, from Delaware. No filter. Enjoyed hearing. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. That, that makes me feel happy. All right. Let me get this done. So for the cool purple passion giveaway, let's pick a winner. Oh, you're in. Oh, now you guys are talking to each other. Okay. Oh, Ro oh my God, Roberta, you're. Are you still here? Or did you like leave me? <laughs> this is so cool. And Roberta's been watching this channel for the longest time, so I'm kind of happy that you won. Are you still here? Did you dip, Roberta? Roberta, you're a winner. Yay! Um, okay, well, she might have left. She might have things to do, but I'm so excited for you, Roberta. You've been entering giveaways for a while. I've written your name down so many times on so many other giveaways. And now this time, you're the winner. Yes, that's that's kind of awesome when people support your channel for a while. I am really grateful. I have gotten a lot of new subscribers. Um, and I'm so grateful that my channel is growing because my ultimate goal, somehow, I, I'm sort of like weeding my way through i don't i'm not good with technology but i'm trying to figure out like how i'm ultimately going to be raising money towards my charity and i have seen like a lot of people do the whole buy me a cup of coffee thing but i don't know if you can change that to like buy someone else a cup of coffee because i would love to use that if people wanted to donate to my nonprofit directly that would be awesome but i don't know like if you're allowed to change those words i don't know anything about it i have to like sit down and pay attention and you know, learn something new, which I do every day. But for me, it's a lot because I'm really not tech savvy at all. And I have like so much trouble with my phone to begin with. My day a little better. Um, Thank you so much, Mindy. I appreciate that a lot. Oh, my God, Donna, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, Donna. Ugh. I... Can I, I will cry. I am like an emotional basket case. You guys are not realizing that I will cry. That is horrible. I'm so sorry, Donna. I'm so sorry. Okay. Let me show you guys a couple of things that I picked up because did I do all the giveaways? I did, right? Make sure to subscribe to me and Pamela's world. Some of you guys have entered the contest, the giveaway for um, a lot of things and are not subscribed to our channels. I checked just so you guys know. So YouTube kicks people off a lot of the time um, from subscribership for some, I don't know why they do that. But because we're going to be doing this crazy, humongous, hard candy giveaway, probably later tonight, we're going to show you guys what's in the video and you're going to be entering the giveaway in that video. And I don't know, Pamela will tell you guys all the rules because she's airing hers first and I'll follow her lead. But uh, it's tonight. More than likely, it will be released tonight. I think more than likely tonight. So please make sure to check your subscribership that you are subscribed to my channel and Pamela's World channel for a chance to win that over $1,000 retail, over $1,000 retail value, hard candy makeup, some wet and wild pieces, but honestly, mostly all hard candy and a cute, a, like a cute collection of other little accoutrement to go along with it. But if I won that, I would honestly feel like I hit the lotto. Like it is, when I was really looking at it, I was like, I'm really impressed with us. We did pretty good. So, um, I just wanted to show you guys some things that I picked up the other day that I can, I, cause my camera wasn't working for everything and they're here. I might bring some to my aunt since I'm leaving and I might not be able to hold them later, but have, do you guys see how big this is? Do you have you guys seen this in your Dollar Tree? Thank you, Christine, so much. Um, love those cups. Yeah, yes. You know what happened to this cup though the other day? 
I filled it with ice. Only this could only happen to me. I break everything. During the making of my hard candy epic giveaway video, three makeup items bit the dust. I break everything, you guys. But I did buy these cups. I almost dropped it just there. Did you see that? Um, I did buy these cups in every color and I filled it, filled it, filled it with ice. And it was a really hot, humid day. I put water, lemon water in it. I went outside and I dropped it and the straw went right through the bottom. Like it was a bullet. It was the craziest break ever. I almost posted it to, to YouTube. Like this is how accident prone I am. But I felt like people were going to be like, yeah, okay, Marina, you're crazy. But it was the, it was like perfectly circular. The straw, like I, I guess got so cold that it, I don't know. It was some kind of quantum physics thing that happened with, it was unbelievable. I was like, only me, only I could do this. But I do want to show you guys this 50 fluid ounce, 50 fluid ounces. Like, do you guys, like, this is incredible. If you have a restaurant, if you have a community center, if you have anything that you're running and you're trying to, people lost a lot of money. If you have a diner, a restaurant, a store, a public restroom, run to Dollar Tree and see if they have these because this is the kind of thing that will save a community. Never mind masks. We still have to remember to wash our hands. I feel like all of a sudden these are a Dollar Tree because people got vaccinated and they went back to being slobs. Like, what is going on? Like, we're, we're not going to wash our hands anymore. I still am obsessively washing my hands, using sanitizer. But this is 50 ounces of soap. This will fill a bathroom restaurant dispenser like four times. And I used to own a bar Something like this, when I would order it from like Jetro or those wholesale companies, is like 10 to $11. And you have to, by regulation on regular terms, have soap in your soap dispenser. But nowadays, if the health department comes to your place and you don't have something like this in your bathroom, you're not even in violation. That's kind of sucky, you guys. You really need to have soap in your place. Um, I did go the other day to a public bathroom and it had nothing. And I was like, I don't even want to breathe the air in here. This is really skeeving me. I'm about to freak out. And um, I did pick up this. If you guys, my luck, I trip over this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, tr I tripped over the broom handle the other day and flew across the house. And I was actually on the phone with Pamela. And she was like, only you could do that. And she was hysteric. She was like hysterically laughing at me. She's like, you're like a comedy skit naturally. And I'm like, I have a lot of broken bones and I've been to a lot of emergency rooms due to my funny nature. Like it's crazy how accident prone I am. Um, I did pick up more of this because this stuff is incredible. I used it the other day. I actually got a little sunburn, which is really pathetic because I ha hardly have any color, but I used it and it works really well. So I picked it up. It does have lidocaine in it, which the other aloe vera gels at the Dollar Tree don't have. So I'm highly recommending this because I rebought it. And I want to share this with you guys. We had this last night. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this. This one is really good really yummy super delicious i don't like everything that comes out of a box i'm a little funny that way but this one is delicious if you haven't tried it yet pick it up because it has like a crispy crunchy topping thing that happens i did add a little parmesan to the top of it too and um i don't know but i really liked it and the boys ate it which is a plus i even added peas in here which normally they would be like you added a vegetable we're not eating it but they ate it because it was like out of a box that's like a sneaky way that I like to feed them veggies. Like I'll, I'll make something out of a box, but I'll throw a real vegetable in it because they won't eat anything green. Oh, I missed it. Something about $3.50. I'm going to go back and read that. Something about Walmart. I picked these up. Oh, are these $3.50 at Walmart? The Yukon. Go Get out of here. Is that what that said? Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm. Oh, you bought this soft soap from Walmart for $3.50? This size, 50 ounces? Get out of here. That's cheap too. That's a lot. This is good soap. This is only $3.50 in Walmart. You know what? You got to love yourself some Walmart. Because I'm not going to lie. I love Walmart. I do. I recently bought 75 pairs of jeans for the shelter in plus size at a dollar a pair. It was, a, I did a video on it. I wasn't even going to do, I'm like getting naked by accident. <laughs> Do, do, do. Okay. Yes. Name brands at Dollar Tree are like what my life is all about. That's like the thrill of the hunt. 
Somebody commented recently how they can see how happy I get in my car when I'm on my way to the Dollar Tree. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty much true. Like, I literally feel like I'm jonesing, like, oh, my God, what's going to be there today? What's going to happen? And then when I get into a Dollar Tree and there's like nothing new, I almost feel like laying on the floor. Like, I'm like, oh, my God, I was so happy. But then I just go to another one. Um, so anyhow, I did pick these up. The Nutri-Grain Strawberry Bar. This is like a full-size box. You get eight of them. They're great for the summer. I love like on-the-go foods that you could just throw in your car and if you're driving, just eat them. Um, I did pick this up and it's working beautifully on my, I bought a couple of them. I haven't used this one, obviously, but my son is a teenager and he has acne now, so he won't use it. But I just basically run around the house with a cotton ball in this and I smash it all over his face and he's like, I don't want that, but it works because I don't want him to have pimples. So this is a good astringent, and it also has calamine lotion, so he doesn't pick as much. I don't know, but I think it works really good. And it's actually by Global Beauty Care, which I happen to love their products. Wants to be... Oh. Oh, I I have to read that again later. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I read that right. And I think this is going to be maybe the last item that I share in this live because I'm going, oh, no, two things I really want to share with you guys. I found these. Have you guys seen these? Do you guys know what these are? I mean, can you tell by the, they're pencil sharpeners. I absolutely love them. I have this one actually in my bathroom, and I still have not even taken this off, but I've been using it. You can see the sharpener residue in there. It worked, oh, okay, now it's not going to work for some crazy reason, because um, my batteries are done. <laughs> I look like a big fat liar. Thanks a lot, batteries. I'm live. Don't you guys know? Well, it's Murphy's Law, but my batteries are probably dying because honestly, I took them out of the remote because I couldn't find where the batteries are. Even though I keep my batteries in the refrigerator, I probably haven't hauled the batteries I bought for this yet. It takes those smaller ones. Anyway, so I took them out of one of my remotes, but it was working really well. I cannot demonstrate it because that's the kind of luck that I have. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Karma's Corner. Um, I get really anxious to do lives. Actually, it's a miracle that the dogs have been quiet this long. It's kind of a miracle because it's Sunday and a lot of people, it is Sunday, right? Yeah, it is, it's Sunday. <laughs> I'm just checking in case I said something crazy again. Um, uh, usually my dogs just bark all day long. Like it, you could go crazy in this house. It wasn't that bad until I got Max, but Max is a lot to deal with. But they do come in these colors. They're electric pencil sharpeners, you guys. I think that an electric pencil sharpener for a buck is crazy good. And it really, really was working until the batteries died. Uh, it, they were old batteries. I, they were probably already dead. Um, I, did, I showed this before, but I don't think anybody was here yet. I did purchase this ginormous magnifying glass because you guys know that I struggle to read the things that I haul very often. So I bought this so I could be like... Um, like Sherlock Holmes, <laughs> but I'm like trying to tell you the name of the, the makeup. Sometimes I need a magnifying glass to read. Like, let's see, actually. Okay, it's it's actually like a pretty good magnifying glass. I'm kind of, it's heavy. I was kind of like, wow, this is a good item. Years ago, I would have never needed it because I wasn't blind yet, but I'm almost blind. Now, I actually, I'm wearing this today, um, this balm stain radioactive i did see some people that hold it say they don't like it i'm really at a loss as to why it's by wet and wild mega slicks moisturizing lip color i think it's awesome actually i put um the ready or not gel wet and wild pout line lip liner on first and um it's just a balm stain but it's really i guess because it's highly pigmented but I think it's a pretty color. Um, that's what balm stain means. In case it's not a lip balm, it's a lip balm stain. It's supposed to make your lips look like, like you just ate like a bunch of berries or, and they stained your lips. That's the point. Like there weren't always stains in the world, but like, wasn't it like Drew Barrymore that originally made them like a big deal? Like not in her makeup line, but she started to wear them when she was a spokesperson for that makeup company that was not her line. Anyway, balm stain is not the same as balm, just lip balm. Balm stain has a highly pigmented, like, and it's 
pretty matte. Like, well, this one's not that matte. I think I might have put chapstick over it. But again, it's a bomb stain. A lot of people said they don't like it, but I think it's, yeah, it's right up my alley because I don't really like a sheer lip. I like, obviously love lipstick. So I think it's a great product and I just wanted to give it its fair shot because a lot of people didn't like it. And I'm like, what's not to like? It's a great bomb stain for a buck. Yes, I'll take it. And um, I did pick this up recently at the Dollar Tree. It's making a resurgence, you guys. So if you missed this awesome product the first time, check in your Dollar Tree to see if they have it again because this is the second time that it's come around here. And it is a medium to dark, all-in-one brow powder kit. I don't really use this kind of brow stuff, but I picked it up to keep for future giveaways because I think it's an awesome product. Very cool. And... Hmm. Oh, I think I'll share these with you so I can use them today. I picked these up when I accidentally went to the Bronx and I even tried them on in that video, but I'm in love with them. I think they're so cute, especially because, and I'm sure that you guys have figured it out, because of the shape here, they like remind me so much of like wearing cat e I love them in my hair. Very disappointed. I'm sorry, Andrea. Do they get wet and wild in your Dollar Trees? Because I, I did recently see a lot of people say that their Dollar Trees don't get hard candy, but they do get wet and wild. But I have to be honest, I love wet and wild products. I probably have to be completely honest because it is confessions of a Dollar Tree addict. Um, I love, I think, I think wet and wild makeup is more uh, relatable to humans. Some Dollar Tree finds in the hard candy world might be a little bit zany colors that not everyone is willing to wear, but Wet n' Wild seems to have a uh, very common colors that are really useful and suit like a broader amount of people, I think, maybe, but, but when hard candy lets us get our hands on some of those palettes, that's when, you know, all bets are off because even if it's not a palette that maybe I will use every day, I still want it. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. I still want that palette because it just makes me happy to get that huge, pretty, pretty box. Like, if I had found this in my, I mean, thank you so much, Gretchen, for getting it for to me. And it was a really thoughtful, sweet, absolutely wonderful. She's a lovely human being for getting me this because she knows she was like, you actually want it for you. You never want anything for yourself. And I'm like, I do want it for me. That's the crazy thing. But if I had found this in the Dollar Tree, I'd have died. I'd have died. I would have been like, I need all of them. And I'm going to give them out at Christmas. How cute would that be in like a red gift bag, like a gift bag for Christmas? This would make such good gifts at the shelter. Um, all right, guys. So congrats to the winners. Thank you all so much. Please do give my video a thumbs up. I did kind of do a mini Dollar Tree haul. <sighs> I feel a little better. Like I did. I have a lot of items around me, but... I think I'm going to like, you know, um, call it a day. I feel kind of excited that I made it this far. Love the, I know I love these sunglasses. I am really, I honestly, I don't buy sunglasses anywhere else anymore. Dollar Tree sunglasses fit all of my sunglass needs. I step on my sunglasses when I scoop. I like, believe me, I break my sunglasses on the regular. So at a dollar, um, I picked up two of these. I absolutely love them. They still have the tag on them. I'm like mini pearl. But um, that's it, guys. That's everything. I'm really grateful that you guys stayed here with me. I really love my subscribers. I love having a YouTube channel. It is a lot of fun. And um, I'm so grateful that you guys came and hung out with me for this little while. It's kind of exciting to do and overcome this fear of mine. Um, and, and Holly, you sure had fun because you won something. And Roberta and Jilly, what was her name? B. Burgess. I hope I'm not butchering that because I am a dingbat sometimes. But I am going to let her know she won. She does have a YouTube channel. Go check her out. She's young but really cool. Very pretty. She has a couple of kids. She does videos. It's really fun. Um, I like channels like that. Uh, thanks, guys. Stay safe.